Let's type Instagram. So boys, what's the like train design you're talking about? So, um, this is kind of like it's gonna be an Instagram short, and for my TikTok, uh, it's basically like the concept is cursed ways to fold a crane, or like in quotes, the most cursed way to fold a crane. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, yeah. I, <clears throat> it's been an idea. It's not an original idea. People have done this before, but um. No one's really made like a video for it, at least not a TikTok. So I'm going to make the TikTok and then I'm going to diagram it for fun so that people can like see what's going on. That's um, nice. Yeah, hopefully it'll work. <laughs> and then maybe I'll put the diagram on like a t-shirt in the future to wear it to a convention. What's up, guys? <laughs> that would be nice and funny. <clears throat> yeah, I know. That'd be a pretty funny shirt. Um, what program am I using? Okay, we're diagramming in Inkscape. And then, um, yeah, looks like people are coming. Remember in. when like um, sick. a hacker was using um, MS Paint to make his diagram? Yeah, that's uh, don't do don't do that. <laughs> that sounds painful. I haven't used this in a little while, so it's going to take me a bit to get back to... Oh, here we go. Yes. Come on. How long does it take to like, normally make a... Um, a diagram? Maybe like intermediate hard diagram? Oh, it actually takes quite a while. Um, maybe... Um, I'm trying to think. So like my angler... Well, people haven't seen that one. <laughs> Okay, so maybe my, my fish diagram for my logo, which is pretty simple, right? I think it's like... Yeah. Uh, that probably took like five hours, four hours. Although, if I were to remake it, I could probably do it... I could probably do it in three hours. Um, which, you know, that's, that's quite a long time diagramming. and That'd be like ultra speed mode. Um, so yeah, this kind of... It definitely takes a long time. I don't know how long this one's going to take. Hopefully it doesn't take that long, but... I don't, at least with this one, I don't have to worry about it looking pretty. I'll just do, yeah, I'll just do two steps a page because, well, now nah, we'll do, hmm. yeah, we don't need to make it look pretty, so we can, ah, oh, whatever. And then, yeah, for people in voice chat, I'll be responding to my YouTube chat. So if it sounds like I'm talking to random people, it's that, that's what I'm talking to. As well. uh, okay, let's see. Um, do you think Ori Math is good to help with diagrams? Ori Math. What is this? I don't think I've ever used Ori Math before. Oh, the simulator. Um, 
Um, maybe for three D steps it would be good. I think where you then you can trace over the simulation. Why is being made now? Yeah, it also takes time, like a good diagram versus just like like you can just diagram steps, but to make like the sequence make sense, it's gonna be interesting. But in this case, our sequence is not gonna make sense. Um, why are you using a um, rectangle to make the train? I'm not. Uh, this is my template, so I can do 12 diagram steps per page. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and have them relatively organized, you know, so it's not all over the page. It's not in perfect thirds, but uh, for other diagrams, that's normally what I would start with is a perfect third. Just space them out and no one's going to know this. Well, if you put it in a book, you don't want it randomly spaced out. You want it as perfect as possible. Because pe people will notice, it, or at least your the editor or the publisher will. No, I mean like, um, like uh, not make it like a, a grid and like more organized somewhat. Oh, I guess. I don't know. I found success. I have, a, I have a better template, but I just don't have that loaded up right now. Um, All right. But normally I just copy and paste that and I'm ready to go. Yeah, I made um, the, uh, how's it called again? By Jason Kuhl, you know, like the big uh, dinosaur? Um, his T-Rex thing, the... Yeah, the Indominus Rex, yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite a fun model to follow, I'm not, not gonna lie. I haven't actually done it before. Maybe I should try it sometime. I do like Jason's stuff. Uh, so I came up with the sequence already. Yeah, I, I did a test fold last night to try to make it really cursed. And so it combines a lot of the existing cursed methods with just bad folding sequence. So <laughs> you'll, you'll see. You'll see when I get there. Uh, after I warm up All my right. Inkscape skills. Sorry, man. Alright, we're getting we're getting into the flow of it. By the way, boys, um, do you think you'll ever uh, hit um the one hundred thousand subscriber mark? Um, I think so. I think one day I will. Yeah. At least I hope I will. <laughs> um, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. And you could probably make uh, an easy video with like uh, creating a YouTube uh, golden button. Oh, that'd be fun. Or I think it's silver for a hundred thousand. A uh, million is. Oh fun. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I can hit a hundred thousand. I don't know if I'll hit a million ever, but I have plans to. I mean, double um, my subscribers. By Origami by Joe Nakashima recently hit it. Oh, I think he's at two million, right? He's been at a million for a while. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he's. I mean, yeah, he's. He's had his channel for what? almost 10 years now and he's he's got the some of the highest quality tutorials out there too uh, i don't come close to yet that yet but that's not really the style i'm going for so it might take me longer but i'll, I'll try to I'll, I'll figure it out i'll figure out what to do yeah he's more for like beginners i guess yeah intermediate beginner i should say i remember when the his eagle was hard for me Oh, yeah. I was like last year, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's got some like upper 
complex stuff. Or at least I think um, the main issue people will have is making it look good. Just like shaping oh, yeah. it as well as, as Joe does. It's very hard for people. I love his new uh, goose design. Oh yeah, I really like that. I wanted to fold it if I had time. I think you should you also make your hand it. design so he can make like the the shush thingy. Oh yeah. <laughs> True. Um, I think you mistake the Morseway case simulator or math is based on the axioms and there's a button to create a diagram based on what you do on paper. Oh. Huh. Wait, I but see. who sent you that? Uh, like the thing. Oh, that's on my Twitch. Much. My Twitch stream. Oh, okay. You're also on Twitch. Yeah, I, I have a app that streams both the YouTube and um, Twitch. Is this OBS? Time. Well, that's the video. That's the camera organizer, but the stream interface is called Restream.io. Nice. Right. So basically, OBS streams to Restream, and then Restream ports it out to both YouTube and Twitch. Let me just get on Twitch to uh, subscribe to you. Is it the same as in YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Everything's yeah, origami by voice. Yeah. Okay, the only problem is this. Kami I'm using isn't fully square. Some of the squares are a little bit off, so this is gonna get kind of, kind of weird. Well, did you like end the stream? No, it's still up there. Uh, because on Twitch for me it doesn't show up as if it was a stream. Really? It, it ends at like uh, 11 minutes 40 seconds. Oh, maybe it disconnected. Well, let me check. Ads, I know. Ads are sorry, guys. I can't control the ads on Twitch. Oh, it says I'm live. On oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Put it in the. Chat. Well, just me. It must be a problem with me. Yeah, it might take a little bit to load. I'm gonna try again. All right. Yeah, I can see it now. Nice. Yeah, I muted the stream <laughs> so that I don't have to hear my boring voice. Yeah, you can mute your mute my stream. Was, you already hear me here. <laughs> I don't know. How for how long have you been um, doing origami? Um. That's a good question. Um, I started to seriously do it like, um, like six years ago, but when I was young, you know, I folded cranes and paper airplanes and stuff all yeah. the time. Me, I've started doing it uh, maybe like, yeah, about a year and two months ago. Mm. I remember how it started. We were just um, like, because it was a time during uh, winter when we can have like our own uh, um, hoodies uh, at the school because mm. like it's cold and everything. Although it's actually not, but, but like, and we would just put like uh, origami boats in the the name of it again like you know the thing you put over your head when you have a hoodie um a, like a like a hat uh no like wait, i'm gonna just search it sure i'll flip i don't even know the name in uh in french Okay, yeah, this is cursed. 
how you're making it. Yep. Rabbit ear through all the. <laughs> yes, the hood. Oh, a hood? With out of Yeah, we put the, the boat in the hood. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I've done that and, before. And then it became like with frogs. Mm -hmm. But then I, I was like with Yonokashima's channel, I just continued watching. And I was just hypnotized by like how fun it is. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the next step? Uh, it's pretty cursed. I'm gonna rotate this, uh... No. I guess I don't need to, uh, oops. Normal, normally if this is... Hold on, it'll, okay, it'll, it'll bother me if I... Is it this one? Wait. Maybe it's this one. Yesterday I got my a new um, phone, yeah, iPhone 13. Mm -hmm. I can finally take actual good pics. Oh, nice. Yeah, I guess it's much better than a success. Yeah, 13 is nice. Really high quality yeah. uh, camera. And the difference between like the battery, it's insane. Mm. Yeah, that, I assume your six is if it's old, the battery is even worse than when yeah. it was new. Yeah, we had to like change it twice so far for the success. Oh. Even then, I don't know why, but it just kept. I don't know. Liam says he has the 13 Pro and it's incredible. Awesome, dude. That sounds pretty pretty nice. Yeah. I think I have a I have a 12 Pro. So yeah. Yeah, that, those aren't actually nice, made anymore. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But in general, iPhone. If you if you have enough light, then you can get some good photos. Even with the old iPhones, as long as you have enough light, you should, it's pretty good. Hey, Creed. I wonder if Kotoima uses um origami um uh, wait no um Orihime to make his designs. Wait, sorry, who uh who uses it? I wonder if uh, Kotoima uses it. Oh, um, I'm not sure. Sh too sure. Maybe yeah. I'm not sure actually. I mean, I mean, something I wonder like that, how like he makes things mostly flat foldable. Normally. Yeah. Although when you go in like the crease pattern um, uh, folder, um, like sometimes the um, things aren't fully flat foldable. Mm. I wonder what it would be like to uh, design without using the, like, or he may or something like that. I mean, you can design simple stuff without it. So I mean, like, you're designing a BP. Yeah, I mean, like, if you look at, uh, if you look at any designers before, like, 2013, um, you know, a lot of them just 
used a grid paper or used uh, their vector tools yeah. to draw it. Um, you just it you just might not be able to see self intersection or fully flat folding. But flat, flat folding is pretty easy to do without. You don't really need. Well, if you if you if you have enough experience, you don't really need. Um, yeah. Anything Which like I that. don't. Self intersections might be a little bit hard to identify. Oh, we got quite a bit of people right now. Hi guys. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. Hi. I'm supposed to be at work. Well, what software is this? This is Inkscape. This is like the open source vector drawing app that became very used for diagramming. Uh, I designed smaller, simpler models just by free folding. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, you can that works pretty well. He's got some work in progress design photos on a software on his Twitter somewhere. Oh, interesting. Yeah, if you find that um the source of his stuff, that'd be cool. Okay, so need to actually let's transform by I'm gonna just show the guys on the Discord the two beetles I have. Oh sure. Here's the female. Here's the male. I hope you guys can see it well. I'm gonna put them back in their uh, transport chamber. Because I'm trying to get them to breathe. <laughs> Nice. It's gonna be my first time breeding beetles, so hopefully it goes well. Oh, cool. Because this is relatively easy species, but you just gotta have the right wood, which I have, like decayed with the right mushroom and everything. Mm. I watched the Dark Den, so that's that's my exposure to insects, but I don't know too much about breeding them. Alright, let me search what the dark den is. Are they a YouTube channel? Okay. Well, they aren't insects, they're um, uh, arachnids, but pretty much the same thing. Oh, right. What we, like in the, in um, the community of entomology, would say it's more like inverts, because they're invertebrates. Oh, invertebrates, that makes sense. That's the, the correct classification. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm going to be looking at this print book from a long time ago, but to get the cursed step, <laughs> see what it looks like. Um, oh, origami sea life. Nice. Yeah. I, I had the, this is like, this is one of the reprints of the original print, I think. Or this is the original print. I have like two of the three versions. I'm missing the either the first or the second version, which I used to have, but I gave it away, unfortunately. Wow, is that a shark on the um, the bottom? <laughs> yeah, the, this is um, Montrol's blue shark, I think. Nice. I did this and, one and from it's about, uh, two like... meters. I have a giant one. <laughs> When I was younger, it's pretty cool. That's really nice. It's a great design. Okay. I don't want to accidentally leak the diagrams, but. But it's in, in that book. There is like a sequence, like a cursed sequence oh, for yeah. the crane. Well, I I think I can show the. Uh oh, I think my light's about to explode. Hold on. What? My lamp. 
Yeah, it's about to explode. It um, it's a fluorescent bulb, so they explode when they're about to go out. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> it not, it's not bad. It's not bad. I just have to. Kamikaze, I guess. Yeah, it's weird. It's starting to smoke, so I'm gonna open the. I think I caught it right before it exploded. All right. Ooh, that was close. Um, I hope it's not like glass. No, no, it's a. It's only the filament inside that'll explode. Oh, okay. Thankfully, yeah. Sometimes the glass breaks, but it's rare. Um, let's see this step here. Yeah, that uh, must not be super nice. If I can uh, refocus the camera. See step twenty-eight and twenty-nine. Oh yeah, that. Yeah. Like yeah. um, do that you get twice. the layer inside. Yeah. Yeah, I think Satoshi Kamiya use it in like his uh, work of Satoshi Kamiya. Sometimes. Yeah, I mean, for any central bird base, it it makes sense to. Yeah. Diagram it like that. Um, normally you're not supposed to actually do the fold like that because you could just like unfold and pop it out but for a diagram sequence it, it makes sense <laughs> um, okay but for here we're gonna need I'm gonna make it look nice so we're gonna do this. I hope this giant sea I thought I'm making turns out well oh yeah It'd be cool to see Damn, is that just... Holy, there's so many people. Yeah, we got a squad rolling up. Yep. Um, what program is that? Oh, this is Inkscape. Here. Maybe I should make that. Man, uh, Aloha, what are you making? Yes, I know something, but like... And why does it have such a big tongue? Is it like a humanoid design? Yeah, why is everyone like muted or or um? Well, that's normally how it goes. This VC but text. Normally, no one talks. <laughs> but um, yeah. that's okay. People don't have to talk to. I mean, text. when Alan or Hithio is there, normally people talk. Yeah. I mean, but... they talk. That's okay. I mean, sure, sure, treat if you want. But not gonna lie, making uh, like forty-eight grid designs with um, with um, twenty-five, twenty-seven centimeter cami is quite manageable. Not gonna lie, but as soon as you get to uh, like partials ninety-eight, you're screwed. Like I've done it a few times in some in one of my designs in uh, in uh, and in um. 
but they might stream. And mm -hmm. it sucks. Oh uh, yeah, you can. I mean, wait, I'm gonna just get my end. Well, not my real end, but like my design. Like on the back of this. Over here. Is um transition units make the uh, like to make it so that the pleats are more um efficient i guess Besides, I wonder why is um, like ninety percent of the people on Defen. Uh, maybe they're focusing on other stuff, or they're listening yeah. to the stream from YouTube or something. Yeah. I see you, Creed. Hi all, hello. What's up, Nick? Okay. Oh, my beetles are mating again. Ah, so you're making Venom. I hope it turns out well. Because that's going to be a really sick design. <laughs> hey, I'm not a kid, I'm a teen. Well, adult, uh, old man, same thing. Yeah, because you're not interested in... <laughs> Much since they got offended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're not interested in, like, uh, insects and everything. I mean, breeding is just getting your money's worth. Nah, this won't be as cursed as I want it to be. Hmm. It's okay. It'll be. Oh, no, no, this might be cursed. Just kidding. Oh, Mush is uh, sharing. Ooh, what are you designing? Maybe it's party while he's in class. Yeah, it happens for me a lot too, but like... I mean, I'm in a different time zone. Ooh, like many snakes? Are you gonna make skills? I 
Alright, good luck on that. Discord stream frozen. Oh, thanks for letting me know. I think he, they're talking about the chat. Oh. Yeah, there you go. It's because I was clicked on it. Okay, I should be good now. But you need to, yeah, yeah. Now it's now it's good. Yep. I wonder, like, when and why um, insects became so popular in, like, origami uh, box pleating designs. Uh, if you read in one of the insect books from, I think, the Insect Origami Masters book, there's a excerpt on something called the Bug Wars, which is explains why it's so popular and how it developed into, how it developed the complex origami. That's where most uh, is of it like the, by a Robert Gilling? Um, I think there's multiple people. I think it's an origami house book. Um, but obviously Lang has uh, quite a few things in there. But yeah, there's there's some history too. Uh, it's specifically from the Bug Wars. And yeah, that, that's actually what it was called, the bug word. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool uh... Although, like, um, saying, like, bug words isn't, like, accurate, because when, in entomology, when you say bugs, it's, like, talking about true bugs, such as, like, cicadas. I mean, but those were, those were things, too. Um, yeah. Like, everything was, was involved. Every kind of invertebrate. Do you have a favorite kind of uh, inverts? Um, hmm. I I'm not sure if there's like a, a category, but I am fascinated by the scolopendras because of Wait. just nature. I'm still that. Centipede, uh, giant centipedes. Oh, okay, yeah, those are basically the centipede part of the uh, invertebrates. Mm -hmm. I mean, wait, uh, you can just search like the genus or something like that. It's a uh, Kylopoda or something like that. I don't know how it's said. Interesting. That might be too round. Okay, so then, um, centipedes are actually a, um, class in the, um, under, uh, wait, I don't know, uh, I hate it, uh, there's, it's not in English. It's like, you can read it in French. I'm sure some people will understand. Alright, so, uh, it said phylum, so like, um, the uh, centipedes are a subphylum of uh, um, myriapods. Ah. Oh. I know they're the, a, a class in the subphylum of uh, myri uh, myriapods. Are myriapods like multi segment, multi leg? Or yeah. I mean, myria is like a, um, a type of like number, I think. Oh. It probably means a thousand. Uh, 
I think Between the Folds has a section on the Bug Wars. Oh, okay. So that book, Between the Folds. Uh, Luke, do you know who wrote that? Is that a Lang book? Or is that like a... What's up, Mark? All right, we're, I'm, I'm warming up on my diagramming, so hopefully we'll start to go a little bit faster <laughs> right here. Try, I'm getting back into the swing of things. Uh, after that part on on your, uh, like, uh, with the um, unsync, uh -huh. um, is there, like, anything even more cursed that's going to come up? Uh, mainly just folding through layers. Oh, okay. Surely there's a way to make it even more cursed. Yeah, I don't want it to be like too inefficient, like where you're folding for no reason, you know? So everything will have purpose up to the crane. Because, I mean, obviously you could, you could do yeah. a lot of cursed <laughs> things. But uh... also, I'm going to try to make the video only like 30 seconds long. So I can't do too, oh, okay, too yeah. much. But... Here we get this. I'm not here. used to TikTok because, like, I don't really use it. Yeah. I mean, I just don't use it at all. Well, it'll but be. Like, TikTok, I guess, it's like, it, um, the Instagram same way shorts. as Reels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's like Instagram Reels. Like, it'll, I'll post on Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. Okay. So I get three out of one video, which is pretty Wait, nice. there's another pocket in there? Yeah, this is the more cursed part <laughs> um, with the pocket open. How, okay, how do I draw it? Oh, this is going to be annoying to draw. Okay. Like this. Maybe you do it as if you were using like a magnifying glass uh, for that step. Well, I want, I'm going to try to do it like uh, how John Montrell drew it. Which just this should work. Yeah, I just remember to like make it 3D. Yeah. Oh. Maybe you could add a step that says uh, the next step will focus on getting the other half of the bird base. No, I'm I'm just, I'm just gonna like I'm actually just straight copying the sequence because this is it's like a known sequence, so I want it to be equally as recognizable for people who've done it before. Uh, this is the. Uh, why are you stretching out that thing? You'll see. Oh yeah, because it's not gonna be straight anymore. Yeah. yeah. See, that's like the thing that I would forget to do. Right, that's that's why I'm using the reference from Sea Life. Because I, I would forget to. It wouldn't be as cursed if I didn't do it like this. <laughs> but we need to make it cursed. It's a document. Oh, it's a documentary. I see, I see.
What's the stuff here? Getting somewhere. Oh, I'm making a um, giant dice pod. Oh, wait, that's way too far. This might be my most ambitious design nice although my most ambitious design project that I'm still in the making is um uh, how's it called yeah the the um, ants like the trap giant because it's a um I don't know how to say it but like maybe yeah it has many variants of it oh interesting like I'm still um, procrastinating on on shaping the the queen variant, oh, the elite I guess because it's like the one with the wing. It's... Should probably separate the male and female of my beetles.
think I did this last time. Oh yeah, there's quite a few less people right now. Yeah, looks like some people had to go. Oh, what's up, Darren? I'm watching your stream from school. A, hey, nice, dude. Let's go. Um, that's the way to go. Yeah, in class. <laughs> that's funny. Very cool. Thank you. We're doing a, a cursed way to fold a crane. We're diagramming it. And um, much sensei um. What is that you're making like the, the, how do you say, the, um, the pleats, what is that for? Is it for like this, oh yeah, for the skills. The skills. Tiles. I just found out you were streaming on YouTube. Hey, let's go. Yeah, we're streaming from this with the Discord VC onto Twitch and YouTube. As um, okay, I think that I think that worked, right? Yeah. Our layers are kind of weird. But... Wait, what's the grid so far on Mush? And that looks like thirty-two, I think. Okay, so we get to here. Yeah, that's thirty-two. Uh, it's 32, I think it, it shows. I'm so good. Yeah, because... Oh, okay, 35. I thought you were going to make it like 64. Oh yeah, Philip, I see you in the VC. Hey. Yeah, I'm thinking of um, kind of VC parties like this, even though it's kind of chill. I think I'll be streaming them on YouTube more, although there's going to also be a different platform in the future, which that's all the information I'm going to give at this moment. Um, that'll make it even easier, I think, to do a stream like this. Hey, what's up, Kimiro? Thanks for hopping into VC with us too. I wonder if I can do this, hold on. Let's see if this will break my computer. Wait, what will? There we go. Can you see my camera? I'm, I'm streaming now. I'm, uh. Origami Darren as well as. Oh yeah, Jimmy was here. Although, did that break my Twitch stream? We're gonna see. <laughs> Hopefully not. 
Oh no. I think we're good. Lose some try to mate again. Alright, see ya guys. Hey, see ya. Thanks for hanging out. Alright, we're just chilling now. Let's get this diagram done. Alright, so here's what we got. <laughs> this is so funny. Fold in half diagonally, fold in half, rabbit ear, all the layers. Pull a single layer out. Open the pocket, pull out the folded edge, turn it inside out, do it again. And then now uh, we're going to just value. This is now it's kind of easy from here. This is just regular. So we just have, oops. This a belly fold. Wait. Can I just say reverse fold this? No, that wouldn't make any sense. All right, from here it's like regular crane, almost. Streaming is weird. On Twitch, you have a f your full se three seconds ahead of everywhere else. Oh, interesting. Huh. Yeah, sometimes it rubber bands. So, depending on what hit first, it'll be like delayed. Uh, technically, Discord is probably the f fastest, maybe? This oh, interesting. Oh, it's behind. Wow. I think it's the order that I started them in, maybe. That is pretty weird. Yeah, it could also be like if you refresh everything, then it might fix itself. Or it'll become even more delayed. Who knows?
Does anyone know in Inkscape where the change default like measurement <laughs> thing is? Not sure if it's too important, but. Oh well. Um, on Inkscape, like for stroke style measurements. Okay, thank you. So edit preferences measurements. Where is where is that at? <laughs> Uh, is it in here or am I looking at the wrong settings? Measurements. Am I blind? Measure? No. Is it up here? Oh well, okay, no clue. All right, no worries. No worries, guys. No worries. No worries. All right. Um, just did this. Now it looks like that except hopefully cleaner yeah right the trick with diagram is how you get it to look the most accurate with doing the least amount of work
a little low. Is that low? All right, <laughs> it's super janky. Hello. Hey boys, good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? Or should I say good evening for you? Yeah. I think that'd be <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. Nice dude. I am you're live on my YouTube and Twitch, by the way, just letting you know. That's okay. We're doing like a, a VC hangout live stream type thing. Um, but yeah, no, feel free to talk. We had people talking earlier and now it's just me. So please, please talk. <laughs> Is that low as in the clean yellow reusion folder? Oh, absolutely. L low as in the low whose reusion was featured on origami review. Oh, of course. <laughs> What's up low? You see what I'm doing? Uh-oh, Lois muted. Oh, you're watching. Oh, it's echoing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mute, mute my YouTube for sure. You can just listen to me on uh, Discord if you're down. You can deafen here. Yeah, that works too. But I also want to hear low talk. Yeah. Hope it doesn't echo anymore. Yeah, I think you're good. Yeah. Seems like it's not echoing anymore. It feels weird just now. Whenever I say something, it comes back to me after like five seconds, you know? <laughs> oh, that's weird. That That's really weird. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. That's why I uh, muted myself. Mm -hmm. I saw that you're asking how to change your uh what is it measurement units yeah so in like the stroke style where to default it to points instead of millimeters ah i see yeah you want to hit over to the document properties ah document properties okay so here ah this one it should Spending be this. the very first one yeah thank see. you so much oh my goodness Lifesaver, well, thank you. All right, that helps so much. <laughs> it was so annoying to keep changing the <laughs> units. All right, perfect. Thank you. Um, do you see what I'm doing the, here, the, thing, <laughs> the worst thing about this is that whenever you open a new file, you gotta change the display units again. For some reason, Inkscape does not save it. Oh. You know what I mean? I think I it's found like a the workaround other... that uh, if you just, so if I copy this file and paste it, I think it saves the document properties. Is that right? Uh, what do you mean by copy? Um, or like if I click save as and then do it as another file, I think. Uh, that, yeah, I, yeah. Then that would be okay. Right. I At think least I think I, so. Yeah. So if you have like a, a template, then you can just like mass cop but yeah otherwise you have to change all the 
snapping and the steps and then the document properties. Yeah, it's really annoying. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's annoying. So annoying. Yeah, so you're diagramming some kind of cursed crane. A little bit. It's um yeah, I'll show you I'll show you what I got. It's gonna be for a video. This is why I'm diagramming it. Like it's it's not obviously I didn't invent this sequence, but it's just a copy for myself to use. Uh for the symbols. Oh, so you're like practicing. Like warming up your diagramming skills kind of. A little bit. But when I make the video you'll see what the it's gonna be like folding the cursed crane. YouTube short or Instagram reel. And I just, I'm just going to have all the steps in the corner for people to see how it's different than a, a regular crane. But uh, yeah, it's- Yeah, it's, so what does, what, how different does it look like? Does it have like multiple heads? No, no, it's a traditional crane. It's just you, the sequence is uh, you fold in half, you fold in half, you rabbit ear all the layers, and then you pull a single layer out. Open a pocket, pull another layer out. Open a pocket, pull a third layer out. And then you have your bird base. Ah, I see. Yeah. So it's just a cursed sequence. Yes, yes. Um, this will be more surprising for like the older generation of origami folders. Um, less so than for us. Because for us, we know we can just unfold the whole thing and recollapse it from the creases, you know? But it'll scare people who only fold from diagrams. Um, and hopefully it'll be a little entertaining, but, uh, that's the idea at least. Well, it should be. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. is a crane after all. You're right. Right. Yeah, exactly. That too. It's a crane. So right. like maybe crane. everybody just... knows a crane, so you should be able to reach uh, a yes. wider audience. At least I <laughs> hope so. I think so. I think so too. This will probably get more views than like all my designs and stuff. Just just because it's a crane. You know, this would be a good one for the Reddit page. <laughs> oh yeah, Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a thousand upvotes. I know, right? And some kind of uh, sad, sad story behind it, and then you're getting your upvotes are gonna skyrocket. Oh, I found you're right. this in my late grandfather's basement or something like that yeah the the real way to fold a crane from my grandpa who passed away from like <laughs> i don't know yeah, yeah yeah you're so right though right. so what are you doing simon Oh, he's deafened. Never mind. Oh. Seems like he's working on a new design. Yeah, I think so. Simon, are you working on your... Or I guess he'll hear you in like five seconds. Oh, no, no, no. From, um... Yeah, he's watching from YouTube as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He passed from new model to microscopic cell COVID coniosis. Nice one, Philip.
what what a great word, is that right? Seems like it's better to meet here and watch on YouTube. Yeah, I guess so. It's just like a delay. But that's fine. It works too. What? done. Clip it. <laughs> it would be tricky for diagram folders. Yes, 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 yes. Honestly, though, practicing the sequence is probably pretty good for diagram folders because what they'll realize is that this sequence is just collapsing a bird base. And in theory, it should help them with crease patterns. Um, so yeah, Loki, lo this is a good exercise to do. Because like, basically, if they if they ask, like the goal, right, the, the trick, the trap, is to get people to comment, why can't you just fold it as a bird base? And it's like, exactly. It's exactly. You can do that with any version of this step that's kind of like this. Unless it's like fully trapped, like in, um, is it Lang or Montrol's purple sea urchin? Um, the very last set, you actually have to pull out the layer because everything else is trapped. But other than that, other than that, you can just fold it as a bird base. What's up, Jaden? Oh, wait, why do I have this arrow? Um, I know I have the arrow. Imagine doing a prime diagonal grid. I would, at that point, just fold the grid closest and then um, chop off <laughs> the sides until it's prime. When I see the full diagram, I'll become very... Oh, you want to see it, Jaden? Here, hold on. Give me a second. I'll show you the whole... <laughs> the whole grid. Or the whole diagram. Here. Look. look, it's only a couple steps, right? I can almost fit it on one page. <clears throat> I think if I could find a way around here, then I could, but it doesn't make sense to not do it like this. Originally, what I had is it once it's in here, then you fold all four of these. But I was like, no, that's that's kind of redundant. It's like, yeah, but this this works.
But yeah, for those wondering what this is for, I'm, I'm trying to get back on like the short form content grind. So Instagram reels, um, YouTube shorts, TikToks, because the Instagram algorithm has been pretty wonky for just photos. So gotta gotta do some compliment the photos of videos. If you guys saw mine today, go check that out. I just can't get any details without big grids. What you can try, Simon, just use partials, right? <laughs> then you can claim a smaller grid while still having your big grid. Is putting a beverage? Um, it depends. I, I'd classify it as a soup. Now, if you think a soup is a beverage, then there you go. All right. I'm even using level shifters. Oh. Okay, wait, let me look at what you're doing, Simon. What are you doing? Oh my. So you're shifting up instead of down. Interesting. I mean, yeah, for a while, I mean, I was stuck at 48 grid until my last couple designs and I'm, I'm still learning, try to reduce the grid a little bit. diagram method. Philip's got something for us to fold. What you got, Philip? Lucifer, this is the slowest fold along I've ever done. <laughs> Are you actually folding along? Yeah, that's lit. No, nah, I'm just use just idle. Oh, nice, dude. How do you how do you like Elden Elden Ring? 
I've been thinking about getting it, but I, I don't have time right now to play it, which would be sad. Type was real, put in like 30 hours and you're 30% done, 30 to 50. Oh, dude, that's cool, man. I mean, yeah, Souls games are they're a beast to get through. They're really fun. I don't think I've ever cleared a full one before. However, I did get some comments that my last design looks a little bit like uh, it's from the Souls games. Um, to which I was like, well, that might have been an inspiration, maybe. It most definitely was. <laughs> oh. This is something too powerful to upload. Oh. Oh. Um, interesting. What, what are you using that for, Philip? And then there's Simon's spiky boy. Makes a skull. Oh, cool. what happened there. A C assignment. Thanks for joining. Uh, thought it was some celebration or other ring release. Oh, oh, the collab. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. See, it actually wasn't intended to 
be like Elden Ring. I, I mean, mine was a little bit inspired because I was just looking at stuff from it for reference. Uh, but basically, Alan and I didn't tell each other what we were going to do for the head. Like, um, even on the crease pattern, I left it blank. So the collab was mainly to see, like, what we actually come up with. Um, and that's kind of how that happened. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And yeah, we are doing Inkscape right now. Uh, do you want to see... Uh, doing some cursed diagramming. Is this even gonna show up as a here what we can do is we can just wait Curse diagramming the crane turns into an elephant. True. I mean, actually, the thing is, the the result is not cursed, but the process is cursed. What is the worst paper to use? Um, There's this one shadow fold paper. It's not really like the shadow fold shadow fold paper, but it like doesn't hold a crease and it unfolds itself naturally. And that one's pretty bad and it's hard to glue as well because it like repels the adhesive. That one's pretty bad for it. <laughs> I do a lot of AutoCAD work and my job just reminds me of it. I mean, yeah, this is all vector based stuff, right? Except a lot of this would not be up to standard for AutoCAD, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty s similar, I think. Uh, although CAD is 3D, I think. This is just 2D vector space. I think I'm sub to you. Oh, thanks, Philip. Now we do. Oh, you do TD. Oh, sick, dude. You use CAD for. Oh, cell towers. Wow. Yeah. Uh, is that like like signal processing or something? Or I'm not too sh too knowledgeable about that stuff, but that's cool, dude. Okay, the last step is just going to be called crane. Okay. Yo, someone in Discord, send me a picture of your origami crane. If you're down to let me use your photo as reference to trace over. Oh, I faced this, uh, this is the wrong way. Folding an Ancient Dragon version two out of quilting paper. Ooh, I'll do one. Sick, thank you, Philip. Yeah, just regular crane. Have it like, um, like uh, maybe like this angle. Just the photo at like that angle. And then if you just pop it into VC, yeah, that way I can copy and paste it. Thanks, man. I don't, I, I, you know, I obviously could do it myself, but I don't want to have to take out my camera, send it to myself, copy and paste it from there. So you're, help, you're helping me out if you do that. Thank you. Uh, 
Oh, goodness. Why? Okay. And on the stream, I'll show you guys just what I like to I like to draw it on Inkscape, um, just for fun. general process would be travel to the cell tower, measure and record the sizes of steel in the tower while climbing it, then draw in CAD so the structural now. Oh, oh, I see. That's cool. So it's like physics. That's that's pretty cool. That makes sense too. Wow. So you actually like climb the the tower. Yeah, that's pretty lit. Close enough. <laughs> Aloha is curious about the Spiky Boy Knight. How many likes does it have right now? I want to see decrease pattern soon, but I want to be patient. I think there's 300 more to go. Um, I can check that right now. I mean, what happens first, right? It either hits a thousand or it. Uh, I get to 10,000 YouTube subs first. It's probably, I think to get to 10K, in theory, I'm supposed to get to 10K this year if my growth curve matches my previous three years, uh, which I think it will. But I think uh, 300 likes isn't that much, right? So you guys, if you want to see the crease pattern, go ahead and share. Like, honestly, if you guys just share, the post with people you know that's probably uh that'll probably help me out even if it's like other folders maybe they just haven't been on instagram in a while but i'm, I'm combating the instagram algorithm basically with with that you guys want to see a sneak peek i have another version of the um as i wait for uh fill up to fold a crane i have a the other so this one will make much more sense on why it's called the dragon plate armor let me see if this actually in frame yeah sorry about the lighting again my earlier my light it blew out so normally i have another light here but here maybe i can do this oh it's not plugged in well Okay, just kidding. Also, did I even fix the uh, the focus? Or has it been out of focus this whole time? Oh, no, that's good. Okay. Give me five minutes. Thoughts on fractions? Fractions? Good one. Good one, Jake. They're cool in part. Uh, me too. Hey, boys, what's up? Can you tell us if you have in mind uh, if I could do a tutorial for the invention of the crane? Is one of my best models. Oh, thanks, man. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. I, 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 I definitely could do a tutorial. Hmm. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do a like a. Well, I'm wondering. 
would you rather like should i just do i could do the tutorial on the box and then like i don't think do i i don't think i'd have to do the whole oh well, maybe you don't know how to shape the, the girl um yeah, it, it, it'll be a little while if I actually make that into a tutorial. I, I feel like I should optimize that design a little bit better. Um, but if not, I could do like a one part like walkthrough on how I would collapse it. But the main thing is that means I have to fold it again. <laughs> uh, what do you what do you think, Enrique? Would you do you want a collapse tutorial or do you need like a shaping tutorial? Is I think both would be too much time that I don't have at the moment. But yeah, I do think the invention to create is a very creative, like it's a conceptual design too. It's pretty cool. So I'd be down um, as well as tutorial for this guy when it, when we get to 10, 10 K subs. And yeah, he's, he's like almost done. I need to do the legs and then pose the hand a little bit better and then shape the fingers more and then shape the helmet out sun 14 on the spiky oh name pending uh dragon plate armor i think is what his name is aloha because it's like plates from a dragon which was a. Uh, I i think you were here last stream the Joker, Rathalos. Well, I guess it's a Wyvern. Maybe I should, I guess Wyvern would be better, but Dragon is just, it works better for the algorithm. But the Rathalos is technically a flying Wyvern, not a dragon. Um, but yeah, there you go. Have you seen Siesta Origami channel? I've seen his Goomba and immediately caught my attention and his, yeah, he's got a great channel. Um, I really like YouTube channels where they make tutorials of their own designs. Um, so most of the time, if I ever, um, you know, share their YouTube channel or actually subscribe to them, it's because they do their own stuff. There, there's your tip, you guys. If you want me to subscribe to your YouTube channel, design your own models and, and make tutorials for your own models, not other people's models. And there you go. <laughs> yeah, I folded his revolver, I think, from his channel. I finished. Awesome. Thanks, Philip. And then that'll probably be the last thing we do today is just drawing out the crane. <clears throat> this is this is a pretty chill stream, except for my uh, light bulb blowing up. It's pretty chill. I'm <laughs> designing <it> right now. <laughs> yeah, you can't really uh, collapse the uh, partial crease pattern. I'll take pictures on my iPod. Perfect. Yeah, it does not have to be super high res because I'm going to re-render it basically in Inkscape. <laughs> yeah, although I, I hope the dragon plate armor it's 1k soon because like i do really want to share it <laughs> low key because i think it's my best designed design um it's so optimized and efficient like i don't normally design efficient designs i'm kind of in the same boat as simon where i used to just do big grids and then fit things in but uh you know this one is like like look it's there's no layers there's no extra layers in the sides like there's in total in the sides here because this shifted it's like three layers and the rest are used for the textures here and even in the arms it's like maybe five layers but like a lot of them are used for shifting 
And then we have all these spikes, like here, on the side. Even this one just pulled out. There's two more in there. And the legs, obviously, are pretty nicely done. A tutorial for the collapse would be great. I imagine it would be very extensive. I tried to do it just looking at the crease pattern, but I had a lot of doubts. Yeah, it's like, um, <laughs> because I level shift like the entire thing down, that's probably where it catches a lot of people because some of the transitions are really, really wonky for the box. Um, yeah, I mean, I could probably do a, a collapse tutorial. I think shaping would, I, I don't think I'd want to do a shaping tutorial on that one. It is pretty brute force. So there's not much point um, making a shaping tutorial. But yeah, uh, if anything, I'll just show how the box becomes 3D. Um, I'll, I'll put that on the list. Uh, I have other videos I need to make first. Um, there's going to be the IOIO reviews, finishing that up. And then I have a couple more that were on that picture I posted at the beginning of the year. Uh, that I'll probably do first as well. And then I got a plan for the next OBB competition. <clears throat> so yeah, whenever I get through like a lot of that stuff and I'm open up to have do some more bigger tutorials, then yeah, I'll probably I'll probably be good. All right. put this book back i should fold some more stuff from this book i really want to so when i was a kid i like was barely able to fold any of these things uh but now i can fold all of them so <laughs> i should try i should redo a shark i really like the shark it's so much fun yeah this is the second edition so i had the first edition originally and then i lost it <laughs> Um, or no, I, I didn't lose it. I gave it to someone to borrow. And then, yeah. But uh, got this back. Which, this has the same models. The I think the third edition has different ones. Um, it's like missing the tadpoles. It doesn't have the barracuda or something. or I can't remember what it was lacking. But a lot of these fish are just, they're just so cool, dude. I should do the Barracuda again. I This one I did when I was young, and it I almost got it. It was really bad. The giant clam. I remember I had trouble doing that when I was young. Yeah, it's really fun. Great book. I have the other version. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Yeah, this is probably like one of my favorite books of all time because it's like really what got me into origami. Try it. Okay. It's okay. I'll use your reference photo, Philip, and then I am going to just tweak like the, the, um, I'll probably just move the head higher. Oops. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be this curse. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 pretty bad. Um, that's okay, right?
Oh goodness, what am I doing? Hold this. There you go. Uh, I remember 15 years ago, the crane or flapping bird was the first origami I made. First look at a picture diagram online, couldn't figure out the square base or the bird base. Yo, I had trouble with the square base for a while too, I feel you. Uh, then a lady showed me how to fold on YouTube back when YouTube used to have channel website art. Oh, wow. That's a long time ago, my dude. That's cool. Yeah, crane is like, it's in terms of origami Yosei standard, it's technically a, like a lower intermediate model. Wait, what happened here? We're almost there. And then instead of this being that angle, I'm gonna put it up here actually. Oh, there you go. I was like, my layering was off for some reason.
Wait, my angle on this is like way off. Hold on. I mean, close enough, right? Maybe, maybe I'll redo it later, but that's pretty much... All right, let's take a, let's take a, a tour through. I have a misprint origami sea life book that accidentally switched steps for the lionfish that threw me off. Oh, snap, dude. I can see why that would throw you off. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds hard. All right. <clears throat> so, step one. Here, we'll, we'll fill in the, the text now. Oh, wait, let's not do that. Let's, um... So, we go... Oops. Wait. Step one. Step two, valley full and half. Step three, rabbit ear all layers. Let's do rabbit ear through all layers. Four. Pull a single layer of paper out from inside rabbit ear. Five, we open the pocket slightly. Six, pull out the folded edge, okay. Seven, repeat, step. Five through six. <clears throat> Seven. Do valley fold. Up. Nine. Fold through both layers. Ten. Fold the top layers behind. Eleven. Reverse fold. Did I miscount? Shouldn't that be twelve? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yes, yes, here we go. Look at that. Boom. Imagine pre-creasing, right? For a crane. All right, so for fun, let's just do one more with our diagram steps. If you guys want to fold along, you can fold along with me and then that'll wrap up the stream. How's that sound? How long did we diagram for? Oh my goodness. Um, that took, so Niz left, but I guess to diagram a cursed crane, it took. I mean, I was kind of kind of chatting as well. Two hours. Two hours to, to do here. So actually, what we can do now is um, just delete that.
Oh wait, we want this as a PDF, right? All right. Oh, it cut off the last three. Okay, hold on. We need to redo this. All right, I guess it's not working to show the photos for some reason on stream. Well, we can pretend. Step one, fill up, all right, we're, we're starting now, guys. Sorry, it took a little bit to start. Step one, start color side down, fold in half. And again, my paper is not a perfect square normally, but uh, that's okay. And then step two, fold in half again this way. And then we gotta wrap, rotate it 45 degrees, but we're not making that a step. I'm gonna wrap it through here through all layers. You lost me, I'm confused. What do I do? Oh. Wait. Hold on, Philip. We just fold it in half twice and then um, rabbit eared through the entire thing. I can send a photo in here. And a VC. Oh wait, I just realized that uh, I didn't fill this in with white. Hold on. There you go. That's better. All right, so we're on step three. Rabbit ear through all layers. 
All right, we got that. Now we're on step four. Pull out a single layer of paper from inside the rabbit ear. Now pull out this layer. Step one was so difficult, right? <laughs> All right, here we are. I guess technically this crease doesn't exist yet because we never did that, but that's fine. Open up the pocket slightly for step five. Here we go. Pull up, I might need to be more descriptive on step six. Pull out the folded edge from inside the pocket, turning the layer inside out. So you have to pull this out. And then this one we gotta turn inside out. I don't know if that actually goes inside out. This, it kind of just folds down. Um, I like, I don't know. Okay, and then step seven is repeat step five and six again. So I was open up the pocket, pull out a layer, basically unsink it, right? Eh. go and now our arrangement is like this which matches step eight now we got our two individual flaps on that side and just fold one layer to the left and actually okay this is wrong we don't need this one and actually we can just do this this is good we uh proofread this right we're fixing the mistakes There you go. It's just this one. Step nine, valley fold up. Step 10, fold through the layers, fold through both layers. So valley folding here for both layers. Top layers behind. I'm already lost on six. <laughs> Just pull the layer out and invert the flap, you know, and then recollapse it like a bird base. And then do it again. <laughs> All right, and then step 12 is reverse fold each side. Look at that, zero pre-creasing, you know what I mean? I mean, pretty much, except for that rabbit ear, but that's not really a pre-crease. Reverse fold, tip down. Oh, 
honestly, this might be faster than like doing folding a bird base in the normal way. At least for casually folding, right? And then crane. Crane. So just crane. Look at that. Boom. We did it, guys. And actually, on this step, I'm going to uh, add like a. Valley fold here. All right, I think it's all correct now, right? Except maybe uh, instead of this, uh, pull out the folded edge out from the inside the pocket. You know, honestly, all I'm gonna, you know what? Forget that. <laughs> well, who am I kidding? <laughs> Unsync. There you go. Oh man. Here, we'll do unsync and collapse. That's 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 fully accurate, right? That's super, super accurate. There you go. <laughs> we did it, guys. I went too far ahead and ended up with a rhinoceros. Nice. Is It's a reinvention of the crane. Hey, there you go. Reinvention of the crane. I like that, man. That's funny. All right, guys. Well, I hope you, um, if you didn't follow along, I'll probably post this somewhere. Um, or it's on Discord if you guys want. I'll, maybe I'll put it in a resources channel afterwards like the actual file um, yeah have fun with that I mean it's good practice if you're actually able to get that unsync so like this crane even though we folded through all the layers it's not that it's pretty clean right um, yeah I can stand up look at that so guys thanks for tuning into that stream thanks origami Darren guys for hanging out uh chilling i hope maybe you guys actually learned something about diagramming a little bit or you can use this live stream to see how i diagrammed um because there is some 3d steps there's some weird steps and you can see how i drew it might be might be interesting um but yeah that's all for today um uh, more videos to come uh look forward to the io io review uh, coming, coming soon. Part two. But other than that, I think I'm just muttering and I have no idea what else I'm going to say. So yeah, I'll see you guys.